Hey, this is Manuela. Um, I wanted to, I guess, the reason I'm, I'm recording this video is I just want to document a dream that I had. And I never, ever, 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 ever remember my dreams. So, um, that this is stuck in my head for so long, um, I think may mean something important to me. I don't know. But, um, I had this dream a couple of months ago, um, and I still remember every detail. Uh, okay, so, started out, my husband and I were, um, we had maybe rented a motel room and we were bringing our luggage, rolling our luggage into the hotel room. And um, he opened the door for me and I went in pulling my luggage. And it had a huge picture window in the room. It was, it was really big. And um, it was, you know, of course it had a nice bed, maybe queens, maybe a full size bed. And um, it was a nice room. And um, so, uh, if you if you hear any noise in the background, by the way, I'm uh, waiting for my son to get out of band practice. But anyway, so um, uh, um, and we're, we're pulling our luggage in, and we stop and we look out the picture window, and there's a tornado coming in the distance, and it's it's you know way far away, and it's coming slowly, and the sky is darkening and everything, and. Um, I guess we were on the second floor or anyway on an upper floor and um, so we look out and down at the bottom people are coming just in droves coming um, wanting to come into the hotel or into the hotel room or whatever and so um, my husband he, he you know looks at the window and he uh, real quick ran downstairs and he opened the door to let everybody in and so he comes back up and and he opens the door and he kind of you know gestures to for everybody to come in and I mean there's just hundreds and hundreds of people that just start filing in black white Asian Middle Eastern old young babies I mean people just started coming in all races I mean tall, short, um, people coming in in wheelchairs, and, and it was just like, um, I was just looking at them going, oh my gosh, how are we going to fit everybody in here? And I look up, and it's like the room all of a sudden was, um, like, like, have you ever put two mirrors together, like in a bedroom, and it's like, it, everything multiplies itself, so it's like, the bed, there were like beds, like the room all of a sudden was just like as far, like you couldn't even see the end of the room, like where the, you know, the wall was. It was like miles and miles and miles, and there were beds that were equal distant, identical, and all in a row, and, and just hundreds and thousands of beds just in a straight row, and people were coming in, and they were sitting down in the beds, and they were, you know, just filing in, and they just kept coming and kept coming. And the um, the tornado was coming closer, and and the sky was getting darker, and you could see in the distance everything was kind of paper blowing around and things blowing around, and 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 people kept filing in, and there was plenty of room for everybody. They just kept, you know, kept coming, and so my husband, he, you know, he looked at me. He said, "Hold on, just a minute," and he runs out the door, and people are still coming in. And I'm like, wait, don't go out. And I'm, I had a fit, you know. And, and, and anyway, he went out. And I waited for him. And I, I just, you know, like paced the floor. And people are still coming in. I was like, where are you? Where are you? And um, so anyway, the tornado comes. And I'm, I'm trying to contemplate, do I, should I go out and get him? What should I do? And, and people are still coming in, you know, right at the, the last minute. And they're still coming in. And so... The tornado comes, and all of a sudden you can see the trees outside, and they're bending over and everything. And I just finally um, turned around, and I, I there was this this girl and her baby, or, or a woman, a young girl and her baby, that were standing there next to me, and I just like tackled them, and like we 
you know, knocked them down on the bed and I just like wrapped my arms around them and I was just like praying. I was like, thank you, Lord, for our safety. Praise you, God, that you're keeping us safe. Oh, thank you. You know, and I just kept repeating that over and over again. Praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I was just like, you know, <laughs> had this baby and this mom, you know, and I just like had them in a bear hug. I have no idea who they were. I don't, I didn't recognize them. I, and, 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 you know, I'm thinking about it. I don't even remember what color they were, what you know, I just remember the girl was young. Um, I don't remember what nationality they were. And so, um, anyway, so I just, uh, just, you know, it seemed like forever, you know, and then just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then all of a sudden, um, the walls and the, everything just started falling in and, and debris flying everywhere. And then, but, you know, like I said, and I, I was holding on to this girl and I had my, you know, shut my eyes and I kept praying, thank you, Lord. Thank you for our safety. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I just kept praying and my eyes were squeezed real shut. And I finally got uh, enough courage to open my eyes and I just kept praying, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, thank you for our safety. Thank you that you, you're saving us and you're keeping us safe. And, Anyway, and so when I opened my eyes, the bed was up off of the, the, the floor, or the ground, and it was just hovering there, and it was just turning so slowly, and, and you know, while I was looking, I just kept praying, thank you, oh, hallelujah, thank you that you're keeping us safe, and, and like, like we were in the middle of the whirlwind, and there were, there was, you know, I could see the clouds going around and around and around, and I could see, um, like feet <laughs> coming around like I don't know like people but I really couldn't see the pair I could just see like body parts of you know like things and people flying through the air around us but the bed it's like I couldn't even tell that we were moving we were just just hovering and we didn't feel any wind we didn't feel any anything I mean, it was just like it was perfectly still oh and, and, and too it was it was quiet I couldn't hear anything I could not hear a thing it was just perfectly quiet only thing I could hear was my voice thank you Lord thank you Lord and you know things were still flying around debris just everywhere everywhere bricks and people and trash and just all around and um so anyway it just kept happening and I just kept low oh, Lord hallelujah thank you for saving us thank you for keeping us safe thank you for our safety I praise you praise you hallelujah and I just kept on and kept on and um the wind started slowing down and we were still just hovering, just floating and spinning, just, and I couldn't even feel it, anything. I couldn't hear anything. All I could see was craziness going on. And, and all of us, you know, just not all of a sudden, I mean, just very, very gently, very gently, the bed started coming down as the clouds stopped spinning around, you know, they, they were going slower and I saw less stuff, you know, in the air or whatever and 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 you know the clouds were getting lighter and anyway so the the bed just kind of turns and just you know very very slowly just lands on the ground and when it touched the ground I didn't even feel a bump you know how like when you drop something you go boom I didn't even feel that it's just like it just lowered as it was spinning it just just stopped and and then everything stopped and so I finally let go of this girl and 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 I you know got up and everybody else they were you know laying on the bed or, or you know on their beds you know the beds as far as you could see and they finally just got up and started looking around and just oh my gosh what just happened and and um there, you know, there was nothing, we were outside, it's like there was nothing left of the hotel, and there were like bricks, just like walls that were scattered and broken, and, and I jumped, I got up, and I was like, oh my gosh, where's my husband, and, and my kids, you know, I, I didn't know where they were, and I, I got up, and I looked around, and then I, oh, I was just so scared, where's my husband, where, where are my kids, and anyway, and then I woke up, I don't know what woke me up. It was probably three o'clock in the morning. I don't know what woke me up, but I remember looking over at my husband. He was asleep, and I, I closed my eyes. I was like, "Please, 
please Lord let me go back to sleep I want to find out where my husband is where is he where is he and I, I was praying that I could go back to sleep but it just scared me half to death and so about two days later I had another dream and it was just as clear as the first one and I, I, I just knew I was not going to forget it but after a day or so I forgot the dream it, it was a completely different dream but the only thing I remember about this dream the, the one I had after two days was I was like with other people the only thing I can remember about the dream is we were, um, have you ever seen pictures of old castles and how they have like the battlements on the top of the tower? And I remember, I, you know, the battlement came to about here, you know, and it had, you know, the, you know, how it, it's like this, jagged or zigzag or whatever. And I remember I was wearing, like maybe it was armor or something, and I was just standing looking out the battlement. But this was a long and detailed dream, and I just forgot it. I wish I'd written it down, but I've never, I never remember my dreams when I wake up. I mean, I used to think maybe I didn't even dream, but I know we all do. But, and that dream just stuck in my mind. So I just wanted to share that, that with you. And I think I'm wondering, you know, Joel says that, um, you know, in the end times you're, what is it your your old men will see visions your your or your daughters will prophesy your old men will see visions your young men will dream dreams i mean um mean you know when he pours his spirit out on the world and i'm just wondering if maybe that's was was the lord telling me something i mean because i never remember my dreams and and i guarantee you the next time i'm going to write the dreams down because this the second dream I had was so detailed and it was so but I just forgot I just forgot it and I can't remember anything about it so I'm wondering if the tornado maybe meant something was about to happen or or something is about to happen and then all the craziness and everything as long as you know I was trusting in the Lord and praising him for um, our safety um, and then remember, like at the, you know, I, I never didn't hear, didn't feel anything, and and even at the very end when it was all over, it didn't even bump. It just, you know, is the Lord going to take care of us in the future? If as long as we, you know, the Bible says pray, then we would be counted worthy to escape that which is to come. Maybe He will just protect us in the disasters that are about to come. Uh, maybe he'll just provide like he provided, you know, food for Elijah through the ravens. Um, so anyway, like I said, I just wanted to document this. And uh, if I have any more dreams, um, maybe as soon as I wake up, I'll record them here instead of hoping I remember them. Or I surely won't get around to writing them down. That takes time. <laughs> But anyway, thanks. Thanks for listening. Bye.